we'll be solving this question with the slope deflection method and this question is being taken from the vtu previous year question papers in this question they have given that b support has been sinking by 10 mm so first thing what we'll be doing is we'll be changing the units from mm to meters and the ei value what they have given is also in newton and mm so what we'll be doing we'll be converting it into kilonewton and meter we know that 1 newton is equal to 10 raised power minus 3 kilonewton so we'll be applying that and we'll be changing the things into kilonewton and newton so what we have done here is for newton we have divided this equation by 1000 and for mm we have again divided this equation by 1000 raised power 2 so uh, after solving this we have to just put this thing in the calculator and after solving this we are going to get a value of 480 don't forget to write the units wherever you are finding a value do write the units so b is sinking down by 10 mm so the effect of sinking of the support will be coming on to the ab and bc panel nothing will be going on the cd panel on the extreme ends we are having simple support and all the intermediate joints are your partially partially fixed or semi fixed joints so now this b support is sinking by 10 mm so 10 mm means 0.01 meters so if b is sinking down by this much what rotations or moments will be generated at the ends will be seeing that so for that we'll be understanding this with a small example Let's take a fixed beam with one end sinking down. You have seen this kind of beam and if one end is sinking down by a delta amount, the shape of the beam will be something like this. So this will be the shape of the beam and the moments which are generated at the end will be somewhat like this. So the left end is trying to pull the beam up and this is the moment on the right side which is this came up because of sinking of the support. So opposite side will be generated on the BC panel. So this will be negative negative positive positive and CD 0 0 because no moments are generated because of the sinking of the support. Next step what we'll be doing is we'll be finding out what are the unknowns in this beam since all are your pin joints these are the probable unknowns so we have four slope which is unknown to us analyze a beam means you have to find out the reaction shear force and moment so by finding out the slope we'll be again finding out the moments with the moments we'll be finding out the shear force or the reaction so analysis of the beam means you have to find out this complete set so to find out four unknowns we'll be having four equations to have these four compatibility equations we'll be taking moment at both sides of a support equal to 0 so your first condition could be moment ba and bc is equal to 0 that is moments left side and right side of a support is equal to 0 to keep a support in equilibrium this is the prior condition that the left side and right side of the uh, support should be equal to 0 the next compatibility condition could be cb and cd equal to 0 the next one since it is a pin joint so a and d both should be having moment zero so these are the four equations what we'll be using and we will be finding out are four unknowns so step number 1 is we have to find out the fixed end moments so whatever external forces or loads are coming on to the structure what we'll be doing we'll be finding out the fixed end moments so the sign convention what we are taking is left side positive right side negative so this one is a you should be knowing what are the different formulas for the fixed end moments and for different loadings what we have to apply so here what we are having for a single loading since uh, the single loading is not symmetrical so we'll be using this ab formula so for 
A B we are using W A B square by L square, and for the other one we are having W A square B by L square, where A is your one and B is your three, L is your four. So we'll be putting that in the calculator and we'll be finding out the answers. Your left side is positive and right side is negative. So do not forget to write the units as well as do not forget to write these positive negative sign because at the end what we have seen students do calculation mistakes. Other than that, what they do, they forget to put the sign. They take either either everything negative or everything positive. So be very specific with what you are doing. And now the next one, it is a UDL and it is a symmetrical loading. So the formula what we are using is W L square by twelve. So where W is your five, L is your five again. So we'll be having this one. Just simply put that in your calculator and find out the answer. Do not forget to write the unit. Next one is your single loading. So we'll be using the formula W L by eight. And uh, we'll be putting the W as sixty, L as four. Put that in the calculator and find out the answer. Next are slope deflection equations. What we are going to write? So slope deflection equations. What we are going to write is for A B B A, then B C C B, then C D and D C. So these are the moments we have to write down the fixed end moments. Then we have already calculated the fixed end moments. Then this equation says positive two e i by l, and if a b is there, you have to write twice theta a plus theta b. Theta is your slope minus three delta by l. So if a b is there, a will be twice, b will be single. If b a is there, so b will be twice and a will be simple. Now for the delta, we have to use these positive negative, and we have to get this delta as point zero one. So here only we'll be writing all the values so that chances of mistakes are less. And what students do is either they put wrong equation, wrong formula, wrong uh, inputs are there, or they do mistake in the positive negative thing. So here only we are writing since C D. Deflection is zero. We are writing zero here. Only I am writing positive, negative, and all the fixed end moments. What we got, what we have generated. After that, what we'll be doing? Only whatever values we have, like the values of E I, value of L, value of theta, value of fixed end moments. Whatever values we are having, we'll be just simply putting all the values in the equation. So, like delta, we are having negative point zero one. So for A. B uh, beam A B span we are having it as negative for B C span we are having as positive so accordingly we will be substituting and writing it here itself so that chances of mistakes are less because we have so many equations and so many compatibility conditions what students do they commit calculation mistake and could not able to find the correct theta value. After this, what we'll be doing? We are just going to apply the compatibility equations, and we are going to we are going to generate four equations so that we can get four equations and four unknowns. We can simply put that in the calculator and find out the answer. So what here we are doing? I am rewriting all the things again with the values, and I am putting that in the compatibility equations. So my first compatibility equation is M A B is equal to zero. So I am putting M A B. I'm Putting the values, values of E I also, delta also, and fixed end moments, and I am putting it as zero. So like this, you have to write down again all the equations, simplify it, and write down the final four equations. While writing the equations, positive, negative, you have to take care, as well as while writing the equations, you have to make it in a way that theta A should come first, then theta B followed by theta C. And theta d, so that your chances of mistakes are less. While you are substituting the values in the equation, uh, sorry, in the calculator, all the correct values are going with the sign negative, positive, whatever it is. You have to be very careful. So now I am writing our next equation here. Next equation here, you have to be very careful while taking up the fixed end moments and all the length. 
सिंस आई हैव रिटर्न द लेंथ ऑल्सो देयर इट सेल्फ इन सम क्वेश्चन देयर आर चेंजेस इन द ई आई वैल्यू सो देयर ओनली इन द इक्वेशन यू राइट द चेंजेस इन द ई आई वैल्यू दैट इज टू वन पॉइंट फाइव आई और वट एवर सो दैट चांसेस ऑफ मिस्टेक्स आर लेस बिकॉज इन दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज वेरी ईजी वॉट स्टूडेंट्स कमिट मिस्टेक इज जॉटिंग डाउन ऑल द वैल्यूज एंड निगेटिव पॉजिटिव these are the common mistakes what students do so this is our last equation after this what we'll be doing will be simplifying and solving all the equations so after this you have to solve it so this is my final step for writing down all the equations what i have done is i have written the equation in the same manner first theta a is coming then theta b then theta c and theta d here i am writing all the final four equations what we got after so solving the compatibility conditions all the four conditions so if you see the modes in your calculator for four unknowns and four equations you are watching this one so in this one in the same way you have to write down the equation so that whenever you are putting that in the calculator your negative positive should be the in the same manner what uh equation your calculator is having so please do check before making the final equation so just simply put the equations in the calculator and you will be getting the answer so the answers what i am getting is this one again what i'll be doing is i'll be putting the these answers into the equations and i'll be checking if i am getting the same answers or not so the next step is i have to just put these values in the incompatibility equation and find out if i am getting the same answers or not so i am starting with m a b here also we have to be careful with the length the e i value and the delta value whatever we are getting and with the negative positive values because students this is the common mistake what they do is with the negative positive value and with the calculation mistake they do not get the final answers correct answers so your m a b i am getting it as a zero now our next equation i am putting that is m d c this has to be also zero so i am finding out this and i am also getting this as zero so whatever answers i got theta a b c d are correct that's why i am getting these values as zero now i am putting the next one that is m b a so m b a and m b c the summation of these two has to be zero so i'll be checking that i am putting everything into the into the equation i am putting that into the calculator and i am getting a answer of minus 2.163 kN meter so this is my mba do not forget to write down the units and now i'll be checking my mbc so now i am putting everything in the equation and here we are i am i have to just simply put that in the calculator and the answer what i am getting for mbc so here it is it is coming out to be positive so negative positive it is almost equal to zero so uh, i am getting the correct answers this is the check for you are getting correct answers or not so the next one i'll be checking for m c b and m c d so i'll be putting all the things into the equation and i'll be putting that into the calculator and finding out the answers like what we are doing up till now so these are the final moments what we are getting so your m b a m b c we have already find out and this is your m c b this is coming out to be negative 28 so i am considering that mcd should also come out to be negative 28 point something so point something if some difference is there need not to get worried because what teachers check is the mean value that is before decimal is coming out to be correct or not and the difference should not be more than 0.5 so uh, if the difference is less than 0.5 it is considered to be correct so now this one is coming out to be positive 28.39 it is almost zero so the next thing what we'll be doing is we'll be finding out the shear force and reactions we have already find out the uh, your uh, moments at the support the next thing what we'll be doing is we have to find out the reactions so what we have done here is this is your simply supported reactions 
if 10 is applied on a simply support what are the different reactions what we'll be getting so this is your simple support beam reactions what we got the next thing what it is is we'll be putting all the moments what is generated at the ends and we'll be finding out the reactions be, uh, because of the moments so the first thing is what we have done is because of loading on a simply support what are the reactions the second step is because of the moments what are the reactions so the sum of these two will be your final reactions so now what we are doing since 0 came this is 2.15 and this is 28.4 we have written that and the next next thing what we'll be doing will be taking out the reactions how we'll be doing we'll be taking moment at a support or b support and we'll be finding out the reactions so the reactions what we are getting is this much i'll be telling how the i'm getting these answers i'll be writing i'm uh, giving you the equations for that so uh, these are the reactions what I am so getting. First, first, I'll be writing down all the reactions here. So one is upward and one is downwards because only moment is being applied and no loading is there. So one has to be upwards, one has to be downwards. Now how to write down for B, C? I'll be telling you. So I am taking a moment at B. So this is your clockwise negative i am taking so uh, this much and positive 28.4 and rb into 5 reaction will be somewhat like this and this so reactions and the moments what we are taking and we are summing up into the equation and we are finding out the rb just simply put that in the calculator and find out the answer for same c b also will be doing the same we'll be putting negative 28.4 and this is zero so just uh, I'm, i'll be putting a zero zero here then your rd into four because total length is equal to four is equal to zero so like this we can find out your rd value the next one is your ab also i can tell you so ab this side is zero and this side is your 2.18 so i'll be putting a 2.15 and plus zero uh, so i'll be writing the equation and we'll be finding out your ra and rb value here just simply put that in the calculator and find out the answers so this is how with the moments how you create or generate the reactions so now the uh, next step is will be summing up all the reactions so at b support you can see four reactions are there so we'll be putting and summing up all the reactions with the sign if it is up going upwards we'll be taking positive if it is going downwards we'll be taking as negative so we'll be summing up with the sign all the reaction and we'll be writing down all the final reactions so with this you can make your shear force diagram as well as this is the final reactions of this beam so we have calculated already the moments we have calculated the reactions so we have basically created all our analysis part what we are supposed to do the next thing is we are going to just make the bending moment diagram so the first thing what we need to do is we have to make a simply supported uh, bending moment diagram for the given loading so this is a point load so triangle kind of loading will be coming under the load highest peak will be coming and the formula is wab by l so we'll be writing that wab by l so we'll be writing that so this is coming out to be 7.5 the next one is your udl so parabolic kind of shape is coming i am just drawing it a parabolic shape and uh, that is your wl square by 8 so i'll be putting wl square by 8 a simply supported uh, loading has to be there so this is coming out to be this much and the next one is your wl by 4 and i'll be putting a triangle here under the load maximum uh, this loading is there so wl by 4 coming out to be 60 now whatever moments came so this is your 0 0 at the ends i'll be putting 0 0 next is your 2.15 and this one is 28.4 so i'll be just simply joining it with the free hands and we'll be getting this kind of shape wherever your moment and your simply supported moment is cutting the graph that is your critical point where the beam could fail and you have to be little alert about that point so this is all with the bending moment diagram and shear force thank you for watching the video please like and subscribe and do like my channel thank you